home and lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Extra. With me in studio are members of the Guam School Counselor Association. With me is the President, Stella Kalata, and the Secretary, Brenda Porter. Thank you so much for joining me. They're here in studio to talk about School Counseling Week. Thank you, Ms. Sabrina, for welcoming us here. Of course, of course. Yes. So let's talk about the theme. Yes, the theme, the National School Counseling uh, Week, is actually uh, taken from the American School Counseling Association. Every year, uh, they sponsor the uh, National School Counseling Week. And so this week, the theme is helping students reach the stars. Wow, so when you say reach the stars, that's really up there. Yeah. <laughs> and so school counselors are challenged to help students reach higher. And higher would be college or a career in the future, because not all the students are college material, so, and we respect that. So there are uh, STARS, if you get the acronym for STARS, the first S will be self-direction. So we need to help the kids uh, self-direct or self-regulation, all that, their self-journey towards something successful in the future. And we have task uh, focusing, which is the T, the focus on the task, which is uh, learning, studying, staying in school, okay, and enjoying the school environment. And then A, of course, there are relationships around, so we need to help the students learn how to affirm each other and affirm themselves that they're in school and they're, be, they're proud that they're in school. And then we have the R for being respectful, resilient, and responsible. As students, we want them to be trained, and that's the, actually the vision of DOE also, that kids will be respectful and responsible and resilient, ready for life. And then we have S, which is actually to be successful in the future. So the, the Friday, if we can invite everyone to wear your college toga or your college colors or uniform or whatever you have, just wear it to school and say, this is where I graduated and be proud of your college university colors. Mm -hmm. and, and that's uh, for the kids as visual aid. Wow, my teacher co graduated college, so they're they're going to model. Yeah, we're modeling for wow. them. <laughs> well, tell me what college you guys graduated from, and what got you on this career path? Starting with you, Brenda. Okay, sure. I graduated from a college in Tennessee called Southern Adventist University, and I graduated with an education minor and a psychology major. And I, I thought I was going to be a classroom teacher, and then I realized I wanted to work with students more individually. And so I um, heard about school counseling and that you had to get a master's degree. So I just went ahead right after my undergrad and I went ahead and got my master's degree and uh, to be a school counselor. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. My undergrad course was Bachelor of Science in Accounting, but <laughs> I moved on to psychology and counseling and I graduated at the Ateneo de, uh, de Zamboanga, mm -hmm. but then got my master's uh, also at Ateneo de Madela, I, I moved to Guam, so I didn't finish, but I moved and finished it at University of Guam. So I have my master's in counseling at University of Guam, and then I decided I would stay here because uh, after college, I actually joined a missionary group, but it's also about counseling college students and moving on to high school and then moving now to elementary. And it's, it's a very interesting uh, pathway because it's the same counseling, school counseling, but different levels. And it's, it's exciting, at the same time very, very uh, challenging. What are some of the challenges uh, students are confronted with, the youth are confronted with today? I know um, at my school, one of the things is just the personal social issues. So like friendships is a big deal um, for elementary. So I work with third to fifth graders. So um, just peer relations and conflicts and how do you deal with the conflicts? So I try to teach them um, you know, to talk it out and to try to see what the problem is and then uh, talk about it from both sides and then try to solve it. Mm -hmm. And so that's been working pretty well. What about it, Wedding Girl? Uh, wedding Girl, that would be a lot of uh, physical aggression, maybe the anger and management and actually uh, not a lot of bullying, but I would see that's more of that, the relationship with each other. And so the technique for that is to help them how to regulate themselves, regulate the students' emotions. And sometimes we teach them mindfulness, awareness of their uh, body, mind, heart, spirit, mm -hmm. awareness, or sometimes meditation. Mindful meditation will help uh, for those kids uh, to help them be aware. And of course, uh, another area is the the non-traditional families. We have families that 
uh, children that come from a family where parents are divorced or separated mm -hmm. or incarcerated or deployed or there's death in the family. So we have rainbows in the school yes. that helps them reach out to their peers and help each other. So the rainbows would really help them like process their feelings so that in the future they will not encounter those problems or repeat what happened in the past and not really move forward or, or commit suicide in the future mm -hmm. because they have the support system and help them uh, really process what's happening within them and the, fa the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aside from the challenges of our, our island's youth, what about the challenges that um, counselors face uh, today? There's a lot of challenges because uh, if we want to be 21st century school counselors, then we have to follow the American school counseling uh, model, the national mm -hmm. model, which is based on uh, research. It's research-based. And there are 27 principles. I'm not going to. We don't have time. We want to share it with you. There are 27 principles that uh, help in understanding why the, 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 the comprehensive school counseling model is very important and based on the seven questions. But it's just focusing on how are our students different because of school counseling. And it's all for all students. It's not just for 1% or a few students, but it's for all the students. And can you imagine, you have 700 students, she has 1,000 plus students, or in the high school, you have like 3,000 students. How would you help all students do uh, school counseling? That's why we need collaboration, mm -hmm. leadership, we need systemic change to really move forward with being a 21st century school counselor. And that's a tough job. It's really a tall order. but. We are very grateful. Our administrators are there to help us. Mm -hmm. And uh, downtown, our DOE superintendent is very supportive of the school counselors mm -hmm. because uh, we effect change through the school counseling, comprehensive school counseling model, moving forward to help our students become successful in their life. I wanted to ask about the national organization, and how, uh, what kind of support provides um, your organization? So the National School Counseling Association, um, it provides us, it has a great website, actually you can go to the website schoolcounselor.org and it provides us with uh, professional development, like every year we have a, a national uh, mm -hmm. conference that we go to, or that you can have the opportunity to go to, it has good resources, um, mm -hmm. so it just supports us as counselors, we can always go there, it actually has Ask a TV now, so oh, it, and, and Ask a Scene, so you can, you can network with a lot of people, a lot of counselors, mm -hmm. not only here on island but around. Uh, the nation and can get ideas from them and so it's a very good uh, support. Yes, the support also follows through with the position statements of different mm -hmm. issues like there are 43 issues the school mm -hmm. counselors are faced and then uh, also that we have the networking like our uh, sort of Facebook for school counselors only it's called Ask a Scene yes. and then we also uh, can talk to them call them then yes. aside from the website itself mm -hmm and they can come to Guam too someday. Yes. They have funding, you can invite them to come. And actually in the past, they were able to come here. There were six conferences that uh, they, they were able to facilitate, like the, the book and the association model. The author, the co-author was here for six, five times to conduct the, the national school counseling model, a comprehensive school counseling model conferences in the past. Of course, we had collaboration with DOE, mm -hmm. Department of Education. Yes. We're very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Guam Association School Counselors. Well, real quickly, I know we talked about the challenges, but what would you say is the most rewarding part of your job? I think for me is um, when I do the, the classroom guidance lessons, I think it, it, one thing I like is to be able to see back what I've already taught them. So like this last week, I taught them how to use I messages, explaining how you feel yourself, uh, your own emotions instead of blaming somebody else. And so some students came back and they were using I messages. And also they were singing the character song that I taught them. So it's, it's uh, neat for me to see once I've taught them that they're retaining it and that they're, they're learning it. Yeah. Yes. And also uh, another is when, when they come to you and say that they were helped and then the parents would say that uh, my student is helped, she's now in college or she's graduating and thank you for the help you did. Or when we had one student before that he was really having a hard time because parents were, were into the process of separating and then he actually asked me, can you please talk to my parents? So I talked to the parents and then his our uh, math uh, math uh, contest uh, 
for for the district wide, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then he was failing his grade. I said, I said, okay, I'll try to talk to your parents. When I talked to the parents, and they were okay, and I, of course, I have to ask them to go see a, a professional a marriage counselor. I think they did that. So the child was happy. The parents are back together, and. We won in our math, nice. <laughs> math uh, district-wide uh, contest. So that was he's just now graduating in col in high school, and he's going to the states to do his engineering wow. college uh, mm -hmm. future. So that would that's I think that's the best when when you hear something like that. I mm -hmm. said, wow, and I, it's not just me; it's the whole school that helped this child. Mm -hmm move forward with whatever his goals are and then in the high school so it's it's from middle elementary and high school and the success is there and then hopefully he'll be an engineer someday he'll come back to go build buildings who knows <laughs> well thank you so much for coming in and talking with us and best of luck to you uh, as you commemorate national school council thank, thank you. you so much